Welcome, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles Channel. We are a faith-based channel, a Christian channel that is focused towards relationship, how to court efficiently, how to marry in the Lord, and the end goal is how to marry a godly man, a godly woman, and to have a Christian, godly, thriving home. Marrying a man or a woman who will help you in, a, in your journey to heaven. That is the objective. But so many people, they don't know how to go about it. They don't know how to find the right partner. They don't know if they are praying the right way. And these are some of the topics that we're, we are discussing here. We're, these are the convos, the conversations that we're having here. We have a group on Facebook. We have a page on, on, on Facebook. So if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Join us. If these topics that we're talking about interest you, join the join the family. You're very welcome to be part of us. We have that group and lots of questions that have been thrown out there. Our coaches are helping to answer them. Uh, older people in the world, older people in marriage are coming in with their experiences to help members of the group so that we can avoid making mistakes in marriage so that we also can have a peaceful loving and christian home at the end of the day um you know that we also have an instagram page which is called d as in donald l as in lima b baby c charles d l b c singles that's just our our, our our page on instagram go and follow us and join in the the the, the posts that are showing up there share your thoughts share your con contribution and we'll be happy to have you as part of the family if you have friends who need this kind of topics do well to share with them let them be part of these discussions today we have a very interesting topic which is <laughs> i think it will interest many brothers many young men many many young men many people who uh, have waited and waited and they are left at, at akimbo they're in a limbo they don't know oh my god is am i going to am i going to hear anything at all today we're talking about how long should you wait how long should you wait you've gone to your pastor you've told them about this lady or you have even some people who are not in uh, in our church we go through our pastor before we go we are allowed to go and talk to the sister after we have prayed and known the will of god in marriage in other places maybe you like somebody and you tell them would you marry me or you try to let them know that you you're interested in in having them as a partner for life and the ladies she, you've not gotten an answer yet how long should you wait for someone that's saying, give me some time, I, I, I don't know. They are still indecisive. They are still not sure if they want to go on with it. How long can you wait for them? Should you wait two years? Should you wait three years? Um, uh, we have a, a guest or a part of the the group member. She's, she's one of our, our, our great um, contributor on the group and and also here on our YouTube channel where we, 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 we are all together with the same goal. Her name is Mrs. Madame Deborah. And I am Princess. I forgot to add that. Princess. Mrs. Yes, I'm married too. So Mrs. Princess. And so um, she'll be sharing with you what she thinks, her thoughts about this issue about waiting. Some people say they've proposed to someone and the lady has not given them a response. Two years after they are still waiting. One year after they are still waiting. How long should you wait? Over to you. Yes. Now, this topic is very important uh, because um, this um, is majorly a complaint from brothers, from men, okay, saying, How long should I wait? And this is um, possible very much in relationships or in a marital um, setup where the person doesn't uh, does not really have a relationship with uh, the spouse in question and so 
she has to go through the marriage committee because for those that are in the Deepa Lama Bridge project, we have a marriage committee. And if you want to get married, you go to the marriage committee, you talk about your leadings, what you feel like, why you want to get married and that you want to get married, the person you want to get married to, and then they'll contact the person. And if there is you no, know, there are other things that go yeah, before that. And once, once they have uh, allowed you to talk to her, to propose to her. Uh, when you propose to her, sometimes it takes them a long time before the the lady gives an answer. The Christian sister gives an answer. And the question is, how long should you wait for an answer? How long should you wait for an answer? We would not, I would not say, I will not give you a specific time that you should wait for an answer. Okay, I cannot tell you that you have to wait for if you are waiting for six months, then you just go ahead or you just leave it and forget about it. Or if you are waiting for one year, you just forget about it. Or after two months, you just forget about it. And funny enough, on the platform, I read where a sister was asking why she has gone to the marriage committee. She's talked about her leading. And after two months, she's already saying, I've not heard anything from the marriage committee, nor from the brother. And that's to say that sisters are also eager. eager to get an answer from you as a brother, whether you want to get married to them or not, if you're interested in getting married to them or not, if you're led to get married to them or not. Now, um, the issue of how long to wait, sometimes when a sister is not very, when a lady is not interested in getting married to you, sometimes some ladies think that they should just play alone. You just keep quiet about it and say i'm praying yeah. in reality they're not praying they're yeah. not they're not thinking of them they don't want to get married to you really they just don't want to say no maybe they are feeling that okay and like, someone else might not come the person i'm putting an eye on i'm waiting that man, that brother can come i'm waiting for him to come you know and it's not yet coming so they're just using you to wait and some do that yeah. But some sisters, they are not giving you an answer because they are sincerely praying. Yeah. And they are not heard from God yet. Yeah. And one cannot push God. God is sovereign. You cannot tell him when to answer you. Okay? But as a sister, as a lady, you should have been praying about knowing the will of God on time. So that when the time comes, you already have an answer. So when the brother in question has not the will of God for you, comes around to see I'm led to you, I want to get married to you. Just go straight to the point. I think you should just go straight to the point and tell him, no, listen, brother, I'm not led to you. God has not asked me to get married to you. I'm not feeling, I don't feel led to you. I don't want to, I don't want to get married to you. Complain to him. And so that you don't waste his time. You can go ahead and go, go back to God who he feels, ask him to come and speak to you and so that God can tell him about someone else. Yeah. Instead of just keeping in months and months and it's waiting, and the hearts that wait really get sick. You know? yeah. So go straight to the point and tell him no or yes, if you already have the answer. There's no need for us to, you know, go straight to the point. And sometimes some people say, okay, tell him that you'll wait and give me some time to pray. And really, they have the answer already. Mm. As a sister, should we? I don't think we should give him some time to pray when you have the answer. Be straightforward and frank. Say no. And say no. And say no. You just say it politely. Say no. I don't let you. I don't get married to you. Um, verses of scripture. We we may we may look at Job chapter 20, 29, verse 23. It says, They waited for me as for the rain. They waited for me as for the rain. That is to tell you that those that are anticipating, the farmers, when they put uh, a seed in the ground, they are actually waiting for the rain to come. And they are very much, you know, they know that it depends, the rain depends on uh, their, their crop growth, depends on the rain. So they have so much, so much anticipation. And the same thing for a man that has come to propose to you, is anticipating that you just giving me yes answer. So you can just jump up and just get, you know, and go to go ahead for the next step. And if you're going to give him a no answer to give it to him, he's going to be sad. Some 
some even get sick, but I don't think you should get sick anyway. Some get sick <laughs> because they have had, they have committed their minds and their, their hearts and their soul in this relationship. And they just want you to say yes. They have, maybe from afar off, they have been thinking about you and they loved you or, you know. And so they just want you to say yes so that their joy may be full. But please, sister, lady, stop keeping the brother's weight. Give him an answer. If I look at my own personal experience, there was a brother that wanted me to get married to him. And, and I told him I was waiting to, and I was praying to, you know, and he was not happy that it was taking some time. And he was, you know, bringing, saying some words. And that's where brothers made the mistake of using some, you know, bully kind of words on sisters, give me an answer, I know what to do. If you don't give me an answer, you knew how to go about it, but you don't want to give me an answer, you're wasting my time, or have you? And because of the way, some of the words that he used when he was talking to me, I told him, listen, I've not heard anything from God, God has not said anything to me, but instead of you, let's stay, you can just go. I'm not, I will not get married to you. God has not said, God did not tell me that you can marry to you. I didn't have any answer from God. But because of the way you're talking, there's no need. It's not going to work. Please go. Okay, so you might get such an answer of no because of the way you talk to the sister. Mm. You might get an answer of no because of the way you talk to the sister. Mm. And you might get an answer of yes also uh, because of the way you talk to she might just feel okay let me consider what she's saying and then maybe cut you and if in the long run when she's cutting with you she just to realize that this is not the kind of man i wants to i want to live the rest of my life with she might also say no after and that would take courage also from her to be able to say no to say goodbye and if she says goodbye don't take it against her you could remain friends even if she says goodbye that's my own opinion Right. Yeah. To you. Thank you. Uh, so, um, you know, keeping a man like that, just like you said, it's not worth it. And I think that it's unfair if a sister is deliberately keeping a brother while waiting for another brother. Now, she doesn't say yes or no to the brother, even though she knows her answer will be no, but she wants to put him as a spare tire. If you as a sister are planning to put a brother as your spare tire while waiting for your ideal man, the person that you have in mind, the person you think that you are led to, and you're keeping this man as a spare tire in case that one doesn't work, is not fair. And God searches the heart of man. The Bible says God searches the heart of man. God knows your intent. And trust me, at the end of the day, unfortunately for many sisters, in some cases, it falls out on both ends. The brother she's waiting for does not marry her. And as the Bible says, sometimes, let's look at Ezekiel chapter 19 from verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 19 from verse 5. Now, when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost, then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion. So here I'm just I'm just taking from it and drawing a lesson from it. This person here waited and waited for a long time and their hope was lost. What did this person do? She took something else, something else to replace that one that she was waiting for. So it was a replacement of the original. So bear in mind that the person that came can also go. So if somebody waits for a sister, and the sister is stalking him for six months, for eight months, for one year, for two years. This brother can decide, even before the end of that one year, to leave this sister. And at the end of the day, marry another person. Just for this sister to eventually lose out on that person she was waiting and hoping will come for her. And find herself without a brother, without a husband-to-be, without somebody. <coughs> How sad that would be because that brings about regrets at the end of the day you realize that you shot yourself in the foot because you 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 thought you were playing a game but that was a checkmate you checkmated yourself at the end of the day you you hurt yourself because you are you are waiting there but god knows your heart god knows your intent god knows what you're doing if you're waiting sincerely god knows also and be open to this brother whenever they call you the church or the brother say please i'm still praying 
let me finish praying, please. If you are praying with an open heart, the, the answer doesn't take two years. It doesn't take two years for God to answer you. Except if you have an express wait and you ask God, should I let this brother go? Have a very frank conversation with God so that you're not delaying anybody. Ladies, men, time is money. You're delaying two years out of that person's life is two years off their of what they would have been if they have married you in the next two years maybe they have had a kid that's almost two years or a year and, and, and a half so let's not delay people's deliberately no please let's not do that feel free open if there's anything you don't like about this man talk about it if you have any restriction go ahead if that's what is stopping you please by all means don't force yourself to marry anybody don't force yourself to marry anybody and don't delay anybody unnecessarily so that at the end of the day, you don't hurt yourself and find yourself without a brother and the when the when the when the um, needed is not available, then the then the available becomes the needed. So and there's always another sister waiting for lovely brother to come and propose to her and there's always another brother that is waiting for that lovely sister that you think is not worth it and you're waiting for one sister from um one place up there to come and pick you up and she's not she's not giving you an answer you know so sometimes a brother even is even trying to play double sisters please let's not do that let's not play two sisters and put one on the bench and wait um try this one and see hope that it works if it doesn't work then i'll jump back to her let's not do that god knows us god sees us god god knows how to supply and settle everybody if a sister goes to god and say look at what this brother is doing to me at the end of the day you'll find out that she might not even tell you before you know it you just hear that she's getting married and you'd have yourself to blame you'd have lost your own um wife and that reminds me of somebody that did the same thing and by the time she realized it and was saying oh yes now i want to marry this brother the brother was married just before she made up her mind the brother had gotten married even outside in another ministry to another lovely sister she still you know had to wait for so long a time and age was catching up on her <laughs> age was catching up on her because you can't be playing games when you know that you are already 29 30 and you're still playing games and before you know it you'll be 40 there'll be nobody waiting for you so this is not to say that those people that are waiting is because they rejected somebody no everybody's case is unique if somebody is being delayed there might be a reason that is different from what you know about you don't know it all don't cast any stone at anybody don't judge anybody because they've not married yet don't say it because maybe they've helped some people and that's why they now it's their turn nobody's coming for them no 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 that's not the case everybody has an agenda everybody has a calendar everybody has a, a timetable in the sight of god mind your own business don't try to assume or try to understand what is going on in another person's life if you don't have the details and even if you have a de- all the details learn to just be quiet it's not everything you have to talk about and it's not everybody's situation that you have to smear in their face to hurt them do unto others as you want them to do unto you god bless you if these videos are blessing you uh, i don't know if there's anything you would like to add yeah all, all i just wanted to say uh is that um the um people that are waiting that are in the waiting you have the right to say no to whoever okay one should not be uh conditioned or forced to to say yes just because age is no more on your side that's why you're getting to 40 what have you okay. don't manage there's no need managing Mar- marriage in the marriage relationship saying yes just for saying yes because you want to get married and then because you, you are 40 that's a lady or something like that yeah so I that's know. just what i wanted to add okay. but don't keep people waiting for months okay just okay. just to waste their time or no don't play sometimes when we try play a double game it bounces back on us and we're the ones the ones the people the, if you play a double game you're the one that becomes the, that becomes the loser god we thank you very you. much God will help you not to lose, not to miss your ideal husband because you are looking at the physical that you can see. Let God give you a, a spiritual eyes to see above and the trust in God that he will lead you to the right place, to the right man and to a godly home. God bless you. And if these videos have blessed you, don't forget to subscribe somewhere here. <laughs> subscribe there and, and um, share this video to your friends, your 
young people like you, like you who have not, um, who have not um, married yet and still waiting, these videos might be a blessing to somebody. Uh, until next time, we're very happy to always have you and uh, joining. Don't forget to comment, please drop your comments in the descriptions. I mean, the in the comment section below and like these videos. God bless you. Until next time, bye. Bye.